you're watching Bubba's Cruise and Concerts, like and subscribe. <laughs> We are, we are walking on the board. It has been a uh, little bit of an adventure. We will get into that at another time. But praise the Lord Jesus Christ and my brother, we thankfully got on board. We are, this is Kelly who is actually walking on board. We were a little touch and go there for a minute. But... It all work out there. A little bit of a line to get on. But it is, despite all that stuff, we was 11 13, so it wouldn't benefit again. Here are the first board, Kelly's first up on the Excel class ships. Let's get the heck on. Let's get these. I, I got about 50 pounds of crap to unload. Don't you have Gelly? Yep. Yeah, I already see Tony from the lovely local there. But John Hill is also on the ship. But we're a little bit rattled right now. We're going to go, go drop these bags off and recollect the thoughts. So, Kel, we are. We dropped our, our bags off at the room, did the muscle check in. Kelly's about to eat his first. Jack's chicken, um, and in breaking news, the Nashville hot chicken is back. It, it was on the Mardi Gras, but not on this last time. So that is what Kelly is giving. I I bragged about it, saying it was on par with Chick Fil A. We have an approval. He was a little worried about the sauce, which I think is why he got the Nashville hot. I'm guessing. Yeah, when it comes to barbecue sauce, my taste buds are very picky. Well, I got my, I, I, I was going, no, I, was I was going to get the Nashville hot chicken, but we had a language barrier, so I just decided to get this. We got all week, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a bite. It has been a couple of hours. It's been like an hour since I ate. So the uh, three dicks is the right here by the ladle deck. And the neat thing about that is it's smaller portions. So got two, and they change every day. So it's two and two fries, dumplings, and the, Fry some beef kebabs, and they, they change every day. So that's... Yeah, just to make nothing else. Nah, it's a good one. What we got. This is, unfortunately, I am 17,000 steps in and I still have not found John Hill yet. Pretty solid. So I would prove that. You know, I can find John Hill, hopefully soon.
Lamb is something that is new. Duck rolls, shrimp cocktail, lettuce salad. The tomato soup is, pop, is a popular one. It looks like they also got another soup. And then the big thing that's new is the emeralds, which is included. You got the crawfish strudel and the barbecue salmon. The Saskatchewan shrimp is also new. That was not on the old, old one. Cornish came in very short rib the lamb so you can actually get the lamb as an appetizer or an entree so that's a, a neat thing and some vegetable dishes at the end some salads in the everyday menu chicken breast and strips are along the dessert you got the cheesecake and of course the melt cake it's so like the cheesecake and the orange cake are the two opposite ones so yeah that's it that's the menu for day one Highlights for me, the braised lamb, the short rib, and the Saskatchewan shrimp. So a good menu so far is something easily that I can get some, something for. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to do this every day.
started because they were doing the showtime. But um, I'm impressed so far with the um, entrees. The I didn't realize it was pasta based. I thought it was more lamb, but it was still good. And this is the some version of chicken soup. What do you think, y'all? What do you think about the lamb? Looks like you ate all of it, so it must be a good thing. Yep, yeah, the soup is pretty. So I thought the soup was good, but yep, yeah, looks like off, off to a good start with the with the um, the sides. All right, you're here for the dinner. Um, we got really lucky. I did not mention that we got a table right by the window, so we got a good view of the ocean. Oh, I do. Kelly's got a view of the wall. <laughs> We also got, we also, I've been critical of the wait staff and their friendliness, but we, we got a good waiter, friendly. Also, right beside the um, station there. This is one of the new entrees, the Saskatchewan shrimp. So, not the biggest portion in the world, but after two entrees, in two desserts, it'll be enough. All right, let's try the Saskatchewan shrimp out. And I'm sure Britt Davis is back home making his jokes. In the old days, this would have been the jumbo shrimp, which was about the size of this shrimp. Yeah, again, good, good, solid meal, no complaints. <laughs> Kelly's out playing in the dirt still. But yeah, it was good so far. So far, not one dining room has been above expectations. It is dessert time. I got my patented. Warm chocolate melon cake with two peanut butters. They're smaller. They look awful fancy. The cheesecake with strawberries, which I'll scrape the strawberry stuff off. All right. Kelly, backtrack and do the shrimp. Why were you being the red lobster shrimp expert? What did you think about the Saskatchewan shrimp? I thought it had a good flavor. Not, not overly spicy. Um, how would you think it was on par with like the red lobster? Oh, you can eat shrimp a little bit better. What do you think? I say a little bit better. Well, I mean, some of their new stuff. So you're saying on par? On par. Okay, that, that's. I will allow. I will allow that answer. They got the mix together. The noodles and onion and everything were very good. Yeah. I, th I thought it was a very good meal, like we, I said before, had great service, friendly service, which is not always the case anymore. Yeah, and I have had countless, countless things talking about my one chocolate milk cake with peanut butter, so we will not, but we will get Kelly's opinion on the strawberries while we're here, strawberry cheesecake. Also being a cheesecake expert that you are. Good meal, good, uh, excellent way to start out the new menu. Shout out to Jim Royal and Gossip. Also, shout out since we mentioned Red Lobster to Lachey for some unknown reason she knows I have a YouTube channel. Hello, we're going to have a huge party. We're going to sing, we're going to dance, we'll have a costume contest, we'll have a ton of fun. But you've got to choose fun. This cruise will only be as good as you let it be. So whether you've got a costume or not, make a choice to come on out to the party Cozumel Night. We've also got a $1 million slot tournament happening this cruise. And whether you're playing in the tournament or not, that's really exciting for you this week. Why? Because the casino team, well, they opened the wallet. They said, can we help you out? I said, yes. Give us giveaways for our parties. They said, okay. I said, can you give us some money to give away? They said, of course we can. Friends, how many of you have seen the TV show Deal or No Deal?
function and not any carnival function. You are currently on the newest, biggest carnival function on the seven seas, so I'll ask you again, how are we feeling tonight? Are we good? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. As Sam said, my name's Lee, and I have the honor and privilege of being your cruise director for the next seven fun-filled days. Now, I can already tell, we got a lot of experience in the room. Where are my experienced cruisers at? Who's done this before? <laughs> on their very first cruise? Very first cruise? Yes? Yeah, how about for these musicians? Talk about talent, right? Now, I've got some news. Before we close the show, we need to officially activate the fun. If this button here does not get pressed this evening, there will be no water in the water slice. There will be no burgers at Guy's Burger. Shy lady over there, would you help me? Now, obviously, you're very, very shy. Tell everybody, what's your name? Raina! Raina, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Right here. Now, while we wait, don't press it yet. We're going to wiggle while we wait. Are you ready? Let's wiggle. I want to shuffle the ball. Now, celebration, baby. Here we go. I'll count you down. 